This one's not really a meal. It's more a small snack, if you will. And the honey is optional, of course. If you're going to do honey, I would do wild raw honey that hasn't been heated in any way. Find something that's local. It's probably ideal. And then as far as the milk goes, you want to find unpasteurized cow's milk. You want to find a raw cheese. And obviously, if it's got a raw milk stamp, then that's a sign, good sign. Then that means it's raw. I'm going to take this cheese and we're going to unwrap it. I would recommend smelling it. Every cheese has got a di distinct scent. Also helps with tasting. Cut the rind off and you're going to have a little bit of the rind that's still edible. So I would recommend just kind of chewing through that and getting any bites that you still can so you don't waste it. Then we're going to cut in thick or thin or whatever you like slices. Maybe do like four to six slices. And then what I like to do is I like to arrange them on the plate so together so that I, I can do a very thin drizzle. Because the thing with honey is you have to get the, the really thin drizzle in. Otherwise, you're going to eat way more calories and way more sugar than you want to. So it takes a while to come out. But then when it starts coming out with that slow drip, you just quickly go back and forth and you get that slow drizzle. And you'll notice how the spot in the middle, there's kind of the clump that initially came out. That would have been more than I would have liked. I like to just get a very, very thin line on each piece just to get a little bit of sweetness to it. And it's delicious. And of course, the honey is optional. Mm -hmm. If you want something in a bind, you can't find anything, just grab some raw cheese and eat it. Cheese is a complete food. It has, it's a whole food. And raw cheese, I think, is a superfood, actually. So this is a great thing to have when in a bind. Most grocery stores have imported raw cheese. You might have to dig around and find them, but I don't think I've ever been to a grocery store when I've actively looked that didn't have at least one thing of raw cheese. This next one is a go-to when I'm at Whole Foods. And you can find smoked salmon in a lot of grocery stores as well, actually. This product specifically is from Whole Foods, but there's a lot of similar brands. I'm just looking for one that's wild caught, that's all natural, that has very few minimal ingredients. And you can eat it just like this. It tastes pretty tasty. You can also mix, mix it with other things like we have our sriracha here or mustard if you're into that, depending on what version of carnivore you're doing. This is a spice blend that I like. You could do that with some lemon maybe, squeeze it over. You could do like a primal mayo, an avocado mayo. That's good too. Or you could grab an extra piece of cheese, which I think is delicious, and eat it together or eat it alone. This is just an easy, quick, awesome, whole food product, smoked salmon. This next one I wouldn't do all the time because tuna can have heavy metal issues, mercury particularly. And this is just olive oil, sea salt, and tuna. I would actually prefer if it was just tuna and sea salt because olive oil can sometimes be suspect. And this looks like it's got all the certifications, pole and line caught, 100% sustainable. So as far as tuna goes, this is going to be something that's going to be better than what's in the can usually. Okay, this one is more of a technique because you can do this with any canned fish or seafood. And it's probably the preferred way to do it if you don't really have a palate developed for seafood. So for this, these are some of the typical mix-ins I like to use to make this, whether it's hot sauce, mustard, mayo, etc. They're all optional. You can do whatever you want. Mackerel's a really good fatty fish that is way more palatable than sardines. So I kind of go to mackerel when I'm just not in the mood for sardines, which can be a bit fishy and a bit to stomach for most people. It's a very lean, clean, easy to consume fatty fish. And this one's packed in olive oil, which generally I would prefer if it was just water and salt because the olive oil can be suspect. But even just this way, you could eat this as is. Now I'm gonna go with some Primal brand, Primal Kitchen mayo avocado oil, good stuff. You can also make this at home pretty easily with, of your, with your own ingredients. Some organic mustard, million options for mustard. Some have more or less ingredients, so that's completely up to you. Add a couple squeezes. Next up optional is some more salt. I like a little bit salty, so I'm gonna use some wild pink salt. Sriracha, this has quite a few ingredients, so it's gonna really depend on what you're currently doing in your carnivore diet. I tend to be okay with a bit of plants here and there and herbs, and then of course spices and lemon. You always need some good acid and lemon is just the go-to. And then mix it up, use a fork to kind of smash it together. You can make it more chunky or less chunky depending on your preference, but get all those fats mixed up and get a little bit of emulsion going and then taste it. And then you can adjust if you like. More mustard, more hot sauce, more salt, more oil, whatever. And this is a perfect go-to meal that you can have pretty much anywhere.
Hey, hey, Colin here. Thanks for watching that video. I got a free PDF for you, The Seven Principles of Living Wild. Short and sweet, not long, not gonna be a novel you have to read or anything. Just a simple reference of the things that make you a healthy human. So click on the button below, get that right now, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.